to one class. My name is Jeff Kroos. I have a PhD in physical chemistry and today I'm going to go through a few undergraduate level uh, to high school level physics questions. So here's our first one. Um, we have a we have two-dimensional dynamics. Um, Which often involves solving for two unknown quantities and two separate equations. Uh, we have a block, um, which uh, we have no figure, but I'll just draw it. Um, it has a mass of 10 kilograms, is being pulled by a force on a table. So we have a block. 10 kilograms, and we're on a table, um, and we've got some friction force in which uh, mu is 0 0.3, there's four forces act, acting on it, so um, there's an applied force uh, which is Uh, angled at 30 degrees. We've got our force of gravity and a normal force. Um, and this is our static friction. Um, so the box isn't moving. And we want to find the uh, the force necessary to just overcome our static friction. So we need to look in um, all directions, or right now we've just got um, x, y. So uh, first let's uh, decompose our applied force. So that would be um, We've got this 30 degree angle. And so if this is force applied, then this is force applied cosine of 30. And this is force applied sine of 30. Okay? And so um, we can write that our applied force in vector notation is the uh, is the force applied times cosine thirty in the x hat uh, plus force applied sine thirty in the y hat. Okay, and now we can see that. Um, our nor all the other forces, so our uh, frictional force is going to be in the x direction, and each of the others are going to be in their own respective direction. So if we look in just the y direction, then we've got a positive normal force minus our mg force, um, and then plus our force applied, sine 30, and then that equals um, zero, because um, m a y equals zero, as the acceleration is zero. So we've got no acceleration, so that all equals zero. Um, we can solve for our normal force, as mg minus our force applied times the sine of 30. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now the reason why we would solve for our normal force is because our frictional force 
is always given by our, our coefficient of friction times our normal. So in this case it is given by this. Okay. Now if we look in the x direction we now we just have the x component of our applied force and our static friction. So we just have um, our applied force times the cosine of 30 minus our static friction and that equals zero. So then our applied force cos of 30 minus um, our static friction equals zero and then um, we so we're looking for um, we're looking for our applied force such that um, we just overcome our static friction, so that will be the solution to this equation. Um, <clears throat> so now we need to collect, uh, collect terms here. So we've got F applied, cosine 30, um, plus mu s sine 30 minus mu s times mg equals zero. Or rearranging, we've got that our applied force is equal to. Um, mu s and g over uh, cosine of 30 plus mu s sine of 30. And now um, we have actually all of those values so I guess we might as well solve for what our applied force is. Um, so that would be 0 0.3 times our mass, which is um, 10 kilograms, times our g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, over uh, cosine of 30 is a half. Uh, no, cosine of 30 is uh, root 3 over 2 plus uh, 0 0.3 and sine of 30 is a half. Um, so I actually didn't do this. <laughs> so I'll just uh, do it now. denominator so this is uh, 28 point nine four news all right so there's our applied force um, such that we just overcome our static friction. Okay, so if we check the, the solution here, um, so we've got um, two equations, rearrange, we eventually come to this equation, um, which looks the same, um, and they actually didn't finish it either. Um, so, um, I'm just going to say this final solution, F equals 
equals 28.94 newtons. Okay. 